In this episode of centroids and center of gravity, we will precisely try to find the coordinates of the center of gravity of this particular plane lamina, which in fact is a triangle. Now, whenever you are dealing with plane figures and if it is, if the material of that plane figure is homogeneous and if it is isotropic, then centroids or center of gravity, both of them are pretty much the same thing. Okay. So, how can this be accomplished? Here we go. Let's kick off. Let's have the coordinate axis x and y coordinate axis and you can clearly see that this uh, sort of isosceles triangle is absolutely symmetrical about this y axis that means one thing is for sure that the centroid will lie somewhere along this y axis but at what height is that centroid well that is something which we need to work out so therefore we're going to have to deal with y bar okay all right so the first thing that we need to do is to have this okay now this small little slice over here is having a width of let's say dx and this is actually having a height of y so i'm going to write this over here this distance over here is y right so you can just assume that the entire triangle is made up of some small small rectangles small small rectangles okay from small it gets up to this high then it again gets smaller so what we'll be doing is we'll we'll write this formula y bar is equal to integral of y dA over dA where this this y over here is nothing but the centroid of this small little rectangular piece let me use a different color let me use a yellow color so this this over here is the height at which the centroid of this rectangular piece small little rectangular pieces and this is going to be how much that's going to be y by 2 so what essentially i'm going to do is this y bar can essentially be written as integral of this y over 2 multiplied by da and this red strip over here this rectangular strip has some area da which will be equal to product of y into dx so what we're going to do is y dot dx whole divided by now this is going to get very interesting this integral of dA is the total area of the triangle itself and let's say area is represented by a and it's going to be equal to half of base base is p multiplied by height that's h so half of the space multiplied by height will give you the area of the triangle itself so this is going to be half of base and height now if you watch here this uh, operator is dx the value of x is going to vary from negative b by 2 you can say to positive b by 2 over here so you can put in the limits as negative b by 2 to positive b by 2 that is from this point right here to this point right here okay but uh, it's better to have a zero in your limit so what we're going to do is we're going to take this triangle into consideration and we're going to double that so essentially we're going to start from this zero and we are going to go up to positive b by 2 and what i'll do is i'll put a 2 over here and the limit is going to be from 0 to b by 2 okay that's going to make my integration a lot more simplified a lot more easier to work with okay now the next thing to do is to simplify this further well this can be done very easily this is going to be equal to let me write this y bar again can be written as this 2 and 2 will cancel out obviously to so 2 times of integral 0 to b over 2 and this is going to be y square dot dx whole divided by by what that's b h done and dusted what's next now guys if you watch carefully there is a line starting from this point until we reach here and what we need is we need the equation of this line now the general form of the equation of a line is y equals m x plus c right where m is nothing but the slope and c is nothing but the y intercept y intercept so can we frame an equation for this particular this particular portion well that can be done very easily so slope slope is nothing but let me show you slope is nothing but rise over run so if you go up it's positive if you go down it's negative if you go right it's positive if you go left it's negative so we are starting from this point and we are ending over here so we are going downwards that means a negative rise that means how much negative h and this run 
and we are going towards the right hand side that means it's positive positive how much this distance so this distance is going to be nothing but b over 2 that's positive b over 2 so essentially the value of m that we've got is m is equal to negative of 2h over b all right now guys if you watch carefully the y intercept if i can just just make a small diagram over here okay there is a line like this let's say this this i'm making this line let me use a different color and this is this is math this over here okay this is the point where the line cuts the y axis and the distance of this point from the origin is what you refer to as the y intercept so the y intercept of this line is nothing but h right so y intercept this c is nothing but positive value of h so we can essentially frame this equation in a better way y equals what minus 2h over b times of x plus h so what do we need we need the value of y square so this has to be squared up so we can essentially write this as y square is equal to 4 h square x square over b square and i'm going to use this y square over here and then all of this will be working out in x and this is going to be x okay so that it can be easily solved so the next step is going to be very important so let's start we're gonna to have to put the value so it's going to be equal to this 2 over bh 2 over bh and then we have this big integration in front of us from 0 to b over 2 and then all of this y square okay 4h square x square upon v square let me write all of this all right so that's done now let's just say that this this much portion is the integral that we need to work with and let's say this is written as i okay so 2 over bh into i will give you the y coordinate of the centroid now that's going to be very easy for us so let's let's kick off and let's try to solve this integral okay so let me start over here let me make some space so i i is equal to let me write it again now let's start integrating this x square will become x cube over 3 here it will be x and here we'll have x square over 2 let's go ahead um, 4 h square over b square 4 h square over b square and that's going to be x cube over 3 plus h square x minus 4 h square over b dot x square over 2 and you need to plug in the limits from 0 to b by 2 now you can clearly see upper limit minus lower limit so you need to plug in the upper limit because lower limit is absolutely zero so you don't have to worry about that once you plug in the upper limit that's it that's going to give you the value of the integral fine so let's go ahead and here we go here i'm going to put the value in place of x we'll write b by 2 so this is going to be b cube over 8 this is going to be b by 2 and this is going to be b square over 4 yeah All right, now let us try to simplify this. 4 times of 2 is 8 and 4 and 4 will cancel out. What remains is this um, b square and b square at the top also goes and here also. So we have b h square of over 3 to 6. So we have this b h square over 6 plus again b h square over 2 with a negative sign again. We have this b h square upon 2. b h square upon 2. And that's it you can clearly see these two things will cancel out the final value of integral that we've got just got is how much b h square over 6 and we are going to plug in this value of integral over here so that we can have the final value of the y coordinate of this triangular figure so let's go ahead and do that we had this value of y y bar was equal to how much 2 over b h multiplied by this integral okay now you just need to put the value of the integral and on doing that this is what we're gonna achieve b h square over 6 so 2 times of 3 
is 6 h and h will cancel out b and b will cancel out what remains is the y coordinate of the triangle or of the centroid of the triangle so that's it y bar is equal to how much h over 3 now if we were to locate its position well that can be done pretty easily well here it is um, that's the centroid and this over here is y bar whose value has been worked out as h over 3 one third of this value of the height of the height of the cylinder in fact so guys that was all for today if you've got any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has enhanced your knowledge of engineering mechanics then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get a notification you get an update well needless to say i'm going to be back with more such lectures with more videos on center of gravity for um, semicircle quarter circle um, semi ellipse whole lot of videos have uh, i'm going to be preparing so stay tuned keep watching i'll see you again in the next episode until then it's a wrap for today this is Panas Patnak signing off take care have a great day keep learning thank you